Okay. So Ty, <laughs> punch in Nazis. Punch in Nazis. Let's let's <laughs> do it. Oh yeah, let's punch that puppy right in the head. Let's punch this puppy in the head. Let's make it happen. <laughs> I I have been working literally for oh, eight years to try to get that phrase to become part of the lexicon. <laughs> literally. What? Punching, punch punching, puppies. Um, in, no, no, no. Let's puppies. punch this puppy in the head. I I say it all the time, and you know I get I get like one or two here. It picks it up, but it hasn't gone viral, which I'm surprised. How does that phrase not go viral? Let's punch this right? puppy in the head. And then let's make it happen. Let's Has- do this. Hashtag punch puppies. Oh, damn. I don't I don't get it. I don't know why it's not selling. It definitely it's not selling in the Dakotas, I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, and why people don't want punch puppies? Some people No, do. no, no, it's the phrase what it means is listen, we're so we're so pumped up and ready to move that we're even willing to punch puppies. It's like, you oh. know, it's like it's like a sense of urgency, like, dude, whatever we got to do, even if it means punching a cute punch of a puppy, which, by the way, I would never do. Actually. Hey, not all I'm puppies a- are cute, by the way. That's true. Not all puppies are cute. Lou was not a cute puppy. I Lou, Lou was that. definitely not. A cute I was puppy. a very cute puppy. Not cute enough for the Catholic <laughs> priest to pet me, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they didn't pet you. They just went right in. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, that's. These are the jokes, folks. Wow. So, <laughs> I did that. You can these say that, things, but I can't say These are the things I'm not supposed to say on regular radio. <laughs> right, and so, yeah, you're, you, no, you actually, you're in a, or, well, you're not on tonight, right? You're on Wednesday night. No, tomorrow night I'll be on. Yeah. Oh, so, so, when you're on that day, do you do that, that, uh, I'm going to pretend I'm interviewing you for one question. So, when you do Freedom Feeds and you have to do FCC and compliant, do you spend the day practicing to be FCC compliant? That way, when you're on the show, you don't actually nuke another radio station like you did last week. <laughs> well, Paul, that is a very good question. I'm very happy that you asked that. Uh, it, it's, it's always my concern to ensure that radio stations are not nuked, and I do everything that I can, because it's very important that we maintain the radio stations that we do have. How many are you on? I don't even know. But every last one of them is important. Every last one of them. You know what? Radio stations matter. Because there are children that listen to those radio stations. And besides, a nuked radio station must have horrible environmental impacts and, and just really mess things up. So I try to do everything possible that I can to keep from getting us McNuked and keep the keep the 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 voice of the Freedom Fiends going to Alpha Centauri. Well, they've already reached there, right? Right, yeah. but we got they more to reached- say. Do you? Do you really? Do you really? Isn't this like you're kind of like in this like season eight of Seinfeld where you've actually. A show about nothing has run out of nothing. Wasn't that you guys just stick for a while? You were like the Seinfeld of, of, of Liberty Radio. I remember uh, that stick. It didn't last long. I wish it would have lasted because I like that routine. Well, that's, that's the thing, though. Um, when you have that many different hosts that, that have gone through there over the years. New story. Yeah, I, I, I've been on there for a little over three years now, about three and a half years, something like that. Uh, when you have the number of hosts that have gone through there and the and the number of different personalities, it's it's in some regards both a show about nothing and a show about everything all at the same time. Yeah, hmm. yeah, and it was a good show yesterday. I listened. It was uh, I hadn't heard Lisa in a while. Uh, oh, she's back on. She got her equipment. She was working. on last week, yesterday. She did a really good job. She was. She was. Uh, now, Lisa, if if you happen to hear this, you know I love you. But often when you're on the show, I don't hear you enough. But you were actually really, she was really uh, involved in this show. It was a really good episode, too. It was she, her and Daryl and James. Okay. She, she does really good. Uh, yeah, she's awesome. On there. Yeah. I, I should have a show coming up with her, I don't know, in the next couple of weeks or so. 